don't trust myself. That's a big dip if I fall. Where? Right here? Yeah. Nah, it's not. It's just the light playing get tricks on you. So, yeah, aim your tire right here. You got a gap. Perfect. Go straight, go straight. And now you're going to start turning driver a little. All right, you're going to go a little bit more driver because you want to hit that rock with your driver tire. Perfect. A little bit passenger. Uh, a little more, actually a little driver. Good. Slow. Slow. All right, go. Go, 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 go. You got it. You got it. Give it more gas. All right, perfect. Go ahead and pull behind me. All right, Bree, same deal. All right. All right, hold on. Now you're going to start aiming your driver's tire. You want your driver tire to nail this rock. And your passenger tire should be on that rock. Slow, slow down. Okay, perfect. Right there, that line. Ease up to it. A little bit driver, a little bit driver. Keep going. Give it gas, give it gas, give it gas. All right, keep going. Nice. 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 Bye. That's my girls. Good morning. How great is this? Four Jeeps, middle of Inyo National Forest, and got the fire pit going, keeping warm. It's about 7.15. You get coffee on here just a little bit, but the girls got in pretty late last night, about 11.30. My oldest daughter's in the yellow Jeep. She's got the Smitty built rooftop tent, which was our original one, which we love, and it's still doing great for her. And my other daughter has the black Jeep behind me, and her our youngest daughter and their cousin are all sleeping in that Jeep on the deep sleep. But as you saw, I just got the fire pit together. These Tevotas fire pits are perfect for mornings like this, where all you need to do is put it together. It takes less than a minute. And whenever you're ready to put it away or go for a hike, or if you don't need it no more, all you do is simply turn it off and put it away as opposed to getting a real fire stove for a little bit and then before you go anywhere you got to douse it you're wasting good water but today's agenda is i'm gonna get breakfast going here get some coffee on and we're probably gonna go for a hike either down or north uh depends on what the girls feel like doing um but ultimately just hanging out so i'm gonna get some coffee on and we will catch up with you guys in just a little bit Right now? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, if you keep going north. All right, guys, good morning. As you can see, everybody's up with one exception. Uh, our youngest is still sleeping. Uh, she self-diagnosed herself with dysania. <laughs> Apparently, that's when you have no control over how much you want to sleep. So no, we take it very serious, and we allow her to work through her issues. Uh, but this morning, we got the chorizo burritos. So I'm just going to get stuff cooked while they hang out and uh, sit by the warm uh, Tembo Tusk fire pit. Oh. oh. Oh, there's the angel. Right. Boy, are you guys in for a treat. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna get breakfast going and uh, we'll see how it turns out. I 
got ish to do. Flying through the sky in my parachute. Dancing on the couch like I'm Tommy Cruise. On a one-man mission trying to see it through, yeah. I got the password, yeah. I finally got the password. Added up the numbers, now the math works. I got the way to make the path work. All these lights turn in from red to green. Time in. Like every day, no more working at or ballet. I had to rock the boat so I could ride the wave. Yeah, I got the password. Yeah, I finally got the password. Laughing cause I got the cheat code, the lights, and we all gon' be alright. So come and get it. All right, guys, so uh, everybody's served. We're just gonna sit down and uh, eat some breakfast and then we're gonna go out for a hike and uh, we'll see you on the trail. first patch of snow and Anthony almost ate it all right guys so we're continuing on we've got about a mile and we've lost two so we're down to five but uh, good weather this is great hiking weather nice and cold and chilly and we're now at this point we're paralleling mcgee creek so if we need some water or freshen up we're in good shape so upwards and onwards all right not gonna lie, I'm kind of winded. We just made one of the first pretty steep climbs. And as you can see behind me, we need to get way, we need to get right about there. So I think we're about halfway through the hike, but the rest is no picnic. So what do you think, B? Easy. Easy money? Easy money. Got it. Come on, get it, girl. Woo. All right, guys, we're about 85, 80, 85% of the way there. Uh, elevation is right at about 10,200. As you can see, we just got a little bit further to go. All right, so we're side hilling it across the snow. It's kind of sketch. It's a long ways down. Yeah. All right, guys, about 10,600 foot in elevation, and we are 
really close. Look at that little river. All right. I think we made it. 10,700 feet. Icy water. Wow. Oh, wow. There's another little lake over there. I'm sure it's all the same one, but all right, we're going to go explore. We're going to fish this little pond over here. And then we're going to hit the road, Jack. What's up guys? We just got done with almost a three mile hike. Uh, what was the elevation at? 10,700 right about now. 10,700. And you see we're still out here. It's looking like a storm's coming in, but- You must feel like you need some food though to re-energize. We, we do need to refuel, you know? We're on, we're on our way back down. We can't go back down with no energy, with no fuel. So of course, we got ourselves here with the 395 jerky. We're gonna open up the honey pepper right now. It's all natural, no preservatives. <laughs> I want some. Of course you want some. This is delicious. Here's for you. Okay. Hold it open, B. Boom. About the biggest one? Oh, no. How about for the camera person? Which um, one is that, Bree? Thick and sweet. Oh, that one's my favorite. Which one did I try? I think I tried honey pepper, didn't I? Probably. I think. Oh, this one's good. Man, this is really boring right now. All right, guys. So we're headed back right now. It's starting to storm pretty decent right now. Not storms. But it's raining. And now we're going across the snow. So we're going to put the cameras away so we can focus on getting back down safely. And we will see you guys back at camp. All right. So we made it back to camp and everybody is exhausted. Who's exhausted? Not me. <laughs> well, not naming any names, but two people didn't make it all the way to the top. I'm not going to say who, but everybody else, their legs are toast. So we're chilling. We had some sandwiches. It's about 4.30. We're going to eat some chips and salsa and just hang out. We're going to have a late dinner tonight, but the best news is the girls are making dinner tonight. Wow. That's good. That's good. I'll just snap it. Break. Shaka waka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that other one is small enough too. So tonight we are making steak and Brussels sprouts. Wait, wait, wait. Put it on top of the. With balsamic glaze. So first, <laughs> this is Anthony, my sous chef. <laughs> Say hello. What up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we got here our top sirloin steak cut and prepared by our master chef right here, Itsy Bitsy. <laughs> now, my job as a sous chef is to season it and we need to season it correctly. So we're gonna season it with Barry Bond secret stuff. This is some stuff you ain't got at home, only here at the 395 Junkie Camp. <laughs> right, that's what we're telling them, right chef? That's how we go, right? That's right. That's right. Start on it's popping. I'm okay. sure I do. So what you got going on there is oh, nice. special yeah, VIP really... guests. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. Awesome. We want them yep. like that. Spread them out though, dear. Don't put a big pile. Yeah. I can't think of it. We need them all laid out. Be patient. How great is this tumble set? It's right. so great. You know where you can find it? 395jesky.com. <laughs> Link. Thank you. You're welcome. Link in the description. Leave a comment. Leave a review. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Five stars. So yes, Brussels sprouts are done. Cooked so, to perfection, may I add. And now, we are cooking the steaks. Barry Bond's secret seasoning steak on the tumbo tub. I will say that these cuts by the master chef. What's that? We're great. The cuts by the master chef. Oh great. yeah, perfect portion. Good looking. 
This is like Benihana. This is like Benihana. Oh yeah. Okay, now, now you're gonna, gonna mix it up, and then without spilling. Now that we got the Brussels sprouts in with our famous dip, we're gonna start mixing in all of our juices that we've accumulated from cooking the steak. And do you know what else we're gonna add? Oh, I know what we're gonna add. What are we gonna add? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our dinner is now mixed together, but it is not complete without our balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. So now everything is warmed up. So we are just gonna do a little, <laughs> a nice little dab around. This. Yeah, there you go. And one more for good luck. Woo! Yeah. Now we're cooking. And now we mix it together one last time. All right, this is looking good, and we'll be eating in no time. Meet you by the fire. By the fire. By the fire. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, it sure is oh, nice having hey, well, hey, hey. a chef and a sous chef prepare dinner. Okay. I told him the toughest part about tonight's dinner is splitting up everything seven ways. So we'll see how they do. Yeah, Bree needs normal food. Thank you, doll. Delicious. I'll take whatever. Okay. We're okay, so one kid. No one eat. All right, guys, so my youngest daughter and my nephew handled tonight's dinner. We've got steak and crispy Brussels sprouts in a balsamic glaze. Thank you very much, you two. You guys You're nailed it. You're welcome. And it looks like they evenly spread out everything seven ways. So that's <laughs> the toughest part. Thank you very much. The You're true welcome. test is right now. How it tastes. Mm. I just want to see you guys' reaction first. Mm -hmm. That's bomb. Is it good? Very good. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. We okay. So okay. we're gonna sit here by the fire and just kind of soak in the last night of our camping trip, which has been amazing. Everybody's super tired from that hike, so <laughs> it'll be me. a chill night. Yeah. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> so tired. So we're just gonna chill here by the fire. We will put the camera down and we will catch up with you guys in the morning. Or at dessert. Maybe we'll do like some B-roll of dessert. B-roll coming at you right <laughs> now. All right, guys, good morning. It is now Sunday morning at 7.21. Uh, today's morning's gonna be very uneventful. We're just gonna get some coffee on. We've got some pastries and muffins for breakfast. Everybody's anxious to get out of here and get home. Gabby and her boyfriend, they're gonna go on another hike, so they'll make a day of it up here. Uh, Tish and I, as you know, we have a lot of packing to do, final packing in order to hit the road on Tuesday or Wednesday to head up to Idaho. But Inyo National Forest, man, I'll tell you, you don't need to drive all the way up to Mammoth to get some beautiful country. I mean, just look behind me. You got a creek right down uh, to my left. I'm gonna finish getting coffee going and we'll catch up with you guys as we're packing up and on our way out of here. So how many people does it take to put away a bathroom tent? This? Seven. 
Yeah. Hello, vlog. We have now all tried to fold up this bathroom privacy tent. Oh, I can lose on the frame. And we're failing. They're trying to get some service to Google it. And it's not working. And we, what time is it? 8.44. We're 14 minutes behind schedule now. So this is taking up all our time. What's going on over here? Oh, watching a video. <laughs> All right, so now that they watched a video on how to fold it, let's see if it's actually successful. <laughs> that was nothing like what you guys were going to do. Oh, wow. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. We are just getting out of uh, the mountains above Bishop and we'll be on the highway probably in about five to 10 minutes, but uh, what an amazing time we had uh, with our daughters. We're so glad we're able to get this one last trip in before we head out on Tuesday or Wednesday. So stay tuned guys there's gonna be a lot more material coming on mama goose's channel you me and the fence post and of course with our new area there'll be a lot to explore for this channel and of course we will always make a point of coming back here to california on the 395 uh, we'll have a lot more time on our hands at some point once the build's underway um but until then, uh, we hope everybody is safe and enjoying themselves and has a very, very fun and safe summer. Um, but until then, we will uh, see you guys 
on the next video and happy trails.